Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is show you uh, or talk to you about what exactly do you need to know uh, to solve an equation, uh, or sorry, to graph an equation in slope-intercept form. So when graphing an equation in slope-intercept form, um, you know, I think the main important thing that we need to be able to do is understand exactly what is slope and what is the y-intercept, and also how to identify them in our equation. So first of all, we need to know the slope-intercept form, which I guess I could have written there. Um, slope intercept form is y equals mx plus b, where m represents our slope and b represents our y intercept. Okay? Um, so remember, the slope represents the change in the y coordinates over the change in the x coordinates between any two points that are on the line. Um, and the y intercept represents where that graph is going to cross the y axis. So it's important to understand that the y intercept is a point on the graph where the slope represents a ratio between any two points that lie on the line. Um, what's also important, which I didn't write down in here, is you know, a lot of times, is how, which we'll be going into this course, is how to s put your equation into slope-intercept form. Because not all of the equations that we're going to be graphing are going to be in that format. So we're going to want to make sure we solve for y so that they are in slope-intercept form, which would be like solving literal equations, which actually is another thing that is important for you to know. The next thing is understanding what exactly the coordinate grid or axis is. So um, Cartesian coordinate system. And basically what we have is two linear, uh, linear um, lines, which are two axes, where this is the y-axis and this is the x-axis. Where they intersect is what we call the origin, which is at the point 0, 0. And just like these are two number lines, one horizontal and one vertical, to the right is positive, 1, 2, 3, 4. And to the left is negative. Where on the y-axis, up is positive, and down is negative. All right, so this would be very important as far as when we're graphing our points and so forth. The next thing is understanding what the slope triangle is. So when we have you know, two points, remember the slope represents a ratio. So let's say you know, our two points are over here. Okay? So when we're connecting a line, this is what the slope triangle allows us to do. Um, actually, let's get to our y-intercept first. Remember, the y-intercept is a point. So let's say our equation looks like this, y equals um, 2x plus uh, 1. So that means my graph, instead of it crossing here, my graph is going to cross at 1. Okay? So that's where it's going to cross. And it has the coordinate point of 0, 1, All right? even though we just represent it as the number 1 in the equation. Where the slope triangle comes in is that allows us the triangle, remember, the slope, which is 2 in this case, is our ratio between our y and our x uh, coordinates. So where 2 represents the change in the y coordinates, 1 represents the change in the x coordinates. So to find the change in the y coordinates, that means I'm going to have to go up 2 since it's positive, and then go over 1 since the x is positive. And therefore, by creating my slope triangle, which is always going to be a right angle, I can now create my line. So actually, I could just kind of went through exactly how to solve, how to graph in slope intercept form. But those are the kind of basic things that you're going to want to know. We use the slope triangle to identify the slope between any two points. And that's important as far as because now we're just given the values of the slope triangle. We need to find the next point to create your line. Whereas a point like the um, y-intercept, we need to make sure we plot first. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is kind of like what the basic things you'll need to know to be successful for graphing an equation in slope intercept form. Thanks.